Hi everyone, today we're talking about free stocks to buy in October 2019. Now these are free stocks that I'm probably going to be investing in in October 2019 and I'm going to say a few opinions why. I'm going to keep each stock hopefully quite brief but give quite a bit of information on but if you do need a little bit more information I have done quite an in-depth video on all three of these stocks that I'm mentioning uh, today. Now I was actually just watching back my old video from last year the exact same time uh, buying free stocks in 2018 and actually one of the stocks today was on that video and um, so that's kind of like carried on for a full year um, but I'm going to go through a few reasons why I'm looking at buying these stocks um, this, at this point this month there's a couple of reasons why and all these stocks are long term investing guys so I'm kind of looking from kind of a year to probably two to three years that's probably how long I'm looking to hold each of these stocks and like I say if you need any more details go check some of my other videos out but we'll get stuck into number one stock I did try and do a little bit of a Halloween theme um, but I struggled to find a lot of like <laughs> like Halloween related stocks um, so I'm just going to settle with like a Halloween theme thumbnail and some sort of picture somewhere um, but apart from that we'll get stuck into number one so my number one stock is Altria which is a stock I've talked about quite a bit recently on the channel so I'm going to try to keep it quite brief but um, everyone seems to be enjoying the videos about Altria. So, um, but anyway, Altria at the moment is a great stock that is very much hurt by a lot of the vaping news that's coming out and the potential ban of vaping. Um, not the actual um, vaping itself, but more towards the flavours. And I'm really surprised about the negativity of this stock because it's been um, vaping has been around for so long, and suddenly we've had a big surge of deaths and as well as that is when we talk about vaping and the amount of deaths that's happened to actual smoking as well um obviously you know i think people are expecting vaping to be like something completely healthy and it's not going to do any harm at all to you but at the end of the day vaping is still going to do some bad stuff to your body um, and people need to realize that it's just kind of that balance of how bad is vaping to smoking and to be honest with you, um, I'll be really surprised if vaping gets completely banned in the US. But overall, when we look at Altria stock, it's a great dividend stock and that's why I bought into the stock. And as I don't really mind a lot of this vaping news here in the stock because while this stock keeps coming down, it gives me good opportunities to average into this stock. Now, I talked about previously that I invested in about $44. The stock since then has declined about another 10%. Uh, and that's down to about another $40. And I said when I invested, there's a good chance this stock will go down from these prices. And that's why I didn't go huge into the company straight away. Uh, and that's why I said at the moment, I really like Ultra stock, but it's my smallest position in my portfolio. But now that the company has now dropped 10%, I want to average in, get that dividend yield. And as well as that, I think the stock price has potential to go up as well. I think the stock price is undervalued, so I get a nice dividend and hopefully the stock price recovering as well. Um, so I'm going to average in and I'm going to average in now so the stock is not my smallest position. It's probably going to be, um, it's probably going to go up two places um, in my portfolio. Um, and hopefully from there, I I want to even buy even more of a bigger position in Altria from there. Um, I'm just going to wait and see if it does go down a little bit more. But at $40, I don't mind buying it again at these prices. Um, but I wouldn't mind getting it at like $36 as well. That would be pretty cool. Um, so I'm kind of seeing what happens, but I'm going to definitely buy Ultria within probably the next week of making this video. Um, so there should be a video coming up about Ultria um, very soon. But overall, it's a great company. And I, I'm, the thing that really attracts me as well is like the management. They've done really well trying to diversify the income streams by investing in other companies last year. And I think that will really pay off for them. And I think that, like I said, I think the vaping thing will blow over sometime soon. Um, so overall, yeah, Altria will be a stock that I'm probably adding into um, probably in the next week of making this video. My number two stock is Visa. Now Visa recently is starting to take a little bit of a discount as recording this video. Um, potentially, I'm not sure if it will recover or go down a little bit more from here, but at the moment it's starting to look a little bit more of attractive prices for me to invest in. And it's a stock that I've been really desperate to kind of um, increase my investment into. Uh, Visa and keep that stock as my number two position in my portfolio. I've talked about Visa quite a bit on the channel recently, especially in the free stocks I'm buying because I've been kind of waiting for the right opportunity to go into it. But it's a fantastic company and even though I talk about multiple income streams, Visa has multiple income streams in the actual payment sector, which is okay. But the payment sector overall is just so strong 
especially when we look at a lot of the developing countries as well, the potential for card payments to go there. Um, and Visa is just a fantastic well-run company. And as well as that, it does play a slight dividend. And it's one of those that I kind of don't really have any plans to sell for another um, probably two to five years, to be honest with you. Um, Visa and Microsoft are two stocks that I'm just kind of like, I've kind of not got a sell price on them. I just want to carry on holding them for quite a few years at the moment. And with it paying a nice, well, not a huge dividend, but a dividend that will carry on increasing quite happily. And they do like a buyback program as well. Um, it's a stock that I just kind of want to add into every so often and keep as my number two position behind Microsoft. And like I say, it's a company that I really love and it's payment, payment companies. I've always had a payment company in my portfolio. And Visa at the moment is definitely my favorite payment company out there. Um, it'd be interesting to see what PayPal does, does because it's been dropping slightly since then. Um, and you know maybe that'll create an opportunity to go into that payment company. But for right now, um, Visa is a stock that I really want to carry on adding into my stock portfolio. And it's one that I potentially could be adding into this week at the moment, depending on what happens after the 6.5% pullback. It's slightly on right now as recording this video. But like I say, you know, if I do buy Ultra, if I do buy Visa, I'll be making videos about it and revealing the price that I bought the stock at. And my last stock today is Aurora Cannabis, which is the company that I kind of talked about only a few days ago. And Aurora Cannabis basically is the number one producer of the cannabis at the moment. It's a stock that I previously owned and made a nice little profit on it. And since 2018, obviously we had the cannabis stri uh, spike in prices. And they're kind of sort of recovering right now. And it's kind of interesting me to get back into the stock. And when I talk about Aurora Cannabis, I don't, when I speak about Visa and Microsoft, they're number one and two positions in my portfolio. Now, when I talk about Aurora Cannabis, it probably wouldn't even ever come into my top five positions. I know how much risk is with this company and I know the potential um, returns for this company. And it's pretty much a very big spec pet play in my portfolio. And I do like growth stocks. I'm a big fan of growth stocks. And I, I, I have a, I believe I have a very diverse portfolio. And when I look at Aurora's stock right now, I'm kind of looking right now and I'm going, this stock is kind of getting to the point where it's worth a pump for me because I've made money on this company before or made money on this stock before. And it's kind of getting to the prices where I'm kind of getting that same feeling as beforehand. Now Aurora has been hurt because of the latest earnings report and profitability being further away and that's why it's pulled back so much. If I wanted a kind of um, nice profitable cannabis company, I look at our year stock and that has the potential to do it, um, to have a better profit than what Aurora is. But the reason why I'm getting into Aurora is because it's the number one player in that sector with the production that it can do of cannabis. Aurora out there is when we look at the cannabis sector, it's just such a crowded market, but Aurora want to be number one in there. I could go for Alfria that will probably do profit a lot earlier than, or they already are, and make a profit more than Aurora is right now. But for me, I kind of want, in that big massive growth sector where there's a competition, I want to kind of back who I'm going to think is going to be the number one player right now. And Aurora are in a great position with the amount that they can produce right now, and the amount of countries they're trying to work with, the amount of continents they're in, um, it's great. They are doing a fantastic job and the growth is fantastic. Um, obviously, don't get me wrong, I'd like the um, EPS to be a little bit better and I think that one day they'll get there. But if they can carry on, you know, when we look at growth companies, if they can carry on keeping that revenue growing, that's what people like when they invest into uh, growth companies. And the growth that Aurora is still doing is absolutely fantastic. And obviously the EPS is hurt because of how much they're trying to invest into expanding. I think Aurora can do three times the production of what Alfria does. So it kind of shows you that, you know, they are the number one player in this sector. They are battling away with canopy growth. And I kind of want to back the number one player in this sector. And I think that um, Aurora are that one. But like I say, guys, it's one of those where I'm not kind of investing in this kind of like really heavily. It's kind of a little bit more fun for me because I can... I, I can kind of justify losing a bit of money on this stock, whereas a lot of ones I kind of want pretty much stocks I can, can guarantee a return on. This is a very high risk stock, guys, um, but it's one that I've done before, so I don't mind doing it again overall. And like I said, if you want a bit more detail on Aurora stock, I have made a video about it the other week, um, but that's my number three stock for the three stocks I'm buying in October 2019, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could give it a like, that'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if it's your first time watching, that'd be super as well, guys. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.